And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to helping you win in any marketplace consumer quarterback show i'm your host of the show owner of platinum mvp team at keller williams realty uh new moves made some moves over the holiday break yes we did uh we got uh gary schofield in studio today as well for brave frameworks welcome in sir thank you very much thanks for coming in oh good to be here again yeah man Second got some time. good stuff so we got uh got some one-on-one -on -one time here to talk about real estate photography for brave frameworks our uh, longtime friend of the program real estate photography drone videos and expanding outside of the real estate photography as well so uh, more from gary coming up soon here but we want to make sure you save our hotline number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it 813-670-7372 you used to call me on my cell phone 813-670-7372 Make sure you save our, our number in your phone and bookmark our website, consumerqb.com. A plethora of information available for you on our website at consumerqb.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors there, 80 plus show partners. We're talking about CPAs, financial advisors, attorneys. You know, think about it. You have questions, we've got answers. We want to help you live a better life and avoid a lot of the commission based advice that's out there. All types of real estate uh, expert contributors as well. We got home inspectors, solar companies, you name it. Uh, we can point you in the right direction. If we do not have someone in-house, we can help you with that. Uh, real estate is real heavy right now. We're going to talk a lot about real estate today. Uh, we are also going to talk about our feel-good story of the day. Video shows Milwaukee bus driver rescue young child. Uh, interesting story. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, stay tuned for our feel-good story uh, coming up as well. And I want to start you off with a couple of hot properties. Brand new listings just hit the market here. And by the way, our real estate website is PlatinumMVPRealty.com. PlatinumMVPRealty.com for all of your real estate needs. So we've got 7424 4th Street North in St. Petersburg. This is a beautiful property. Uh, this just hit the market reduced down to $795,000, 7424 4th Street North in St. Petersburg. Uh, this is a gas station slash service station slash mini mart. And you've got great opportunity corner lot on one of the busiest intersections in all of Tampa Bay, uh, 4th Street North, just north of downtown, just south of Tampa. And uh, the owner is motivated. He's looking to make a deal. Um, auto repair stalls in there. You got uh, just a great opportunity to buy real estate here. So uh, reach out if you'd like any more information. We'd love to talk to you. We've got a full due diligence package, you know, in the commercial space. It's a lot about the due diligence, the rent rolls, all the different information there. Uh, but we'd love to talk to you about that. And another commercial listing, a three and a half million dollar listing 207 coronado drive over in clearwater now this is a beautiful property as well a uh, great opportunity now a lot of the value is in the land this is operating as a convenience store but this is prime time land uh over on the beach if you look at the pictures if you're watching our tv show you're looking at the wyndham grand we are right across the street from the wyndham grand it's a it's a lot it's a building and a lot uh, mostly land value again but this whole area is just blowing up you got Got Pier 60 right across the street. You got the bay, the intercoastal. You got the Gulf Beaches. Great property at 207 Coronado. Talk to your real estate agent. Have them talk to you about this property, and we will love to show it to you and set up a time. But right across the street from the Wyndham Graham, Clearwater Beach, America's number one beach, my uh, favorite beach, the number one beach in the world, and a hot property listing here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Yeah, we got some weekly economic updates for you as well. Uh, interesting stuff here. We've got for the first time since March, inflation retreats. So December brought a 0.1% decline in the consumer price index uh, for the first nine months, as in November, cheaper gasoline was a factor. Uh, gas prices took a 7.5% monthly fall, and the CPI advanced 1.9% across 2018. Uh, the core CPI, which excludes 
excludes food and energy cost, rose 0.2% in December for a third consecutive month and gained 2.2% for the year. In short, yearly inflation is back in the vicinity of the Federal Reserve's 2.0 target. So that's a big question in the real estate space, Gary, is, you know, what will the Federal Reserve do? What's the monetary policy going to be? That's going to be affecting a lot of real estate transactions, mortgage side of it uh, with the with the rising interest rates. But you guys help realtors out on the photography side of the business. Uh, so let's start there. Uh, okay. How are things going with your, your business? Well, kind of the reason I'm here this morning, because uh, Mandy, Sean, and Jeanette are so busy, um, which is not normal for January, February. Uh, the markets usually take a lull mm -hmm. after the holidays. Not seeing it. Um, we are slammed. Uh, business is great. So they uh, they do uh, more in the office and, and said, Gary, uh, go go fill in for us at the show so nice. we can keep doing what we're doing. we got to catch up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good problem to have. I mean, you know, your reputation now at this point is, you know, speaks for itself. Plus, you know, you guys are, are just doing some really uh, excellent photography. And a lot of it is, you know, you're flying the drone. You're, you're taking those nice overhead shots, those aerial views. And a lot of it is on the editing side, making it look sweet and nice when you get back to the office. It sure does. Um, I'm amazed. I, I work in the next room from the editors and I just pop my head in there all the time. And just when I have a minute and just just to see what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I just I still go, wow, it's amazing what they do. Yeah, it really is. And so with the real estate industry, let's kind of I want to have you pull out your prognosticator cap here, your crystal ball, you know, what do you see happening? I mean, you've seen cycles in your lifetime, right? I mean, you've seen ups and downs. We've all seen them. Um, what, what do you see happening here in 2019 economically, you know, Tampa Bay, and then also maybe more specifically the real estate market? Wow. It's going to be a long show. Um, <laughs> you know, as, as a realtor for 11, 12 years prior to this, uh, I do have that history. And, and that's why I say normally there's a little bit of a lull this time of the year. Um, I'm not seeing that. I see 2019, um, from everyone that I talk to and what I see, I watch news, uh, different things. Um, it's looking strong. I, I think uh, mm -hmm. uh, not only is Florida uh, a, a usual leader uh, for the country, uh, Florida's economy is pretty stable um, just because a thousand people a week are still moving here. Yeah, still growing. Phenomenal. So uh, uh, the indications I see is that uh, there's not gonna be a slowdown here. Yeah. Um, we can all try to guess what the Fed's going to do and, and the other market influences. Um, we don't know, but uh, I mean, things have been strong for a while and a uh, record number of people traveling over this holiday season because things are that, that going that well. Everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. You know, the thing is when we see what happens is we hear these national numbers, you know, things that are talking about it. a lot of times it's national numbers out of DC or right. wherever they're pulling uh, data from. And, you know, the national association of realtors will, you know, they'll do some of their studies as well, but you know, here locally, Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, Palm Harbor, you know, we live in the best tri city area uh, in the United States and you, you have the absence of a state income tax. We've got the affordability. You know, I see lots of reports on, on Tampa being one of the best job markets and affordability. So that's a unique mixture that you can't find in other markets. Oh, it sure is. And uh, and you're right. Good point that, that a lot of what we see and hear and read are national figures, even, even statewide, yes. doesn't necessarily reflect what we are seeing here right in the Tampa Bay area. That's uh, right. Different numbers. Yeah, absolutely. We got we got great numbers. And, uh, and this is a good time of the year as well. Uh, as your number one consumer advocate, uh, six years running on air now, uh, Brandon Rhymes here. I'm the host of the show, but I'm also a top realtor in the area. What I want to talk to you about, uh, our listeners out there, our viewers of our We Being TV show, um, we want to talk to you about the idea of planning, you know, strategic planning. This time of year is a great time to get a value check on your home. You know, maybe you might want to look at repositioning positioning some of your equity, paying down some credit card debt that you ran up from the holidays. <laughs> you know, we've all been there. Uh, so what I want to offer you right now is a, a free CMA uh, for the first three listeners who call in or text in. Um, we're going to offer you a free comparable market analysis, free appraisal on your home, basically. You know, the same thing that an appraisal is going to tell you. It's going to be a, uh, you know, breaking down the comps, the comparables in the neighborhood, uh, what the value's at, and we're going to send you a full report of that. And also, it's good to know if there's any foreclosure activity going on in the neighborhood. Neighborhood. Maybe you want to invest in your own neighborhood, buy some other properties up, some investments. So if you text the word value to our consumer advocate hotline, the first three listeners, uh, we're going to hook you up with a free CMA comparable market analysis. It's going to break down all the numbers in your neighborhood and let you know what the properties are selling for and what you could reasonably expect to sell for. Or maybe just want a valuation to see again if you can reposition some of
some of that equity, maybe pull out a home equity line. Uh, we've got great lending partners here with the show. Uh, so text the word value to 813-670-7372. Text the word value, 813-670-7372. Six seven zero seven three seven two, and we're going to help you on that side of it, getting that uh, CMA put together for you. So um, we've got Gary Schofield here, uh, Schofield in the house um, for Brave Frameworks, and, and you know, so it's interesting. So you had a real estate background, and now you're on the real estate photography side. So it gives you some some valid insights on you know what people are looking for, what realtors are looking for. I think so, and and uh, uh, it was always. We can all look through the MLS or or, or the uh, other websites where properties are listed, and everybody sees the photos that that look great. Yes. And the next one is the little postage stamp or something, or it's blurry, yes. or and, and those. And I don't know really how many people would actually stop at that one. They just scroll on to the next nice photo. That's right. Um, it is a big edge to have the proper photography done uh, yep. people are visual and that's, that's right what, that's what's going to look at yeah number one i mean it's like visual uh you know they say body language and all that but if you're looking at a computer screen it's, it's the number one thing is visual uh but yeah that's a great point you know and and why would they do that maybe they don't have the money you know let's face it there's ten thousand twelve thousand realtors now uh in the tampa bay area and um you know with that with that you know situation uh with so many different people um <laughs> You know, there's a lot of new agents out there and they may not have the money to put into uh, real estate photography. You know, maybe you maybe you signed on with a friend or a kid's soccer coach and you think that's going to get you the most value for your home. But that's where you see these posted stamps pictures, these iPhone pictures, droid, whatever. They're, they're trying. Yeah, they're, they're trying. Um, they don't know. Uh, we are the most affordable uh, photography company that I've seen out there. I've, I've done the price shopping um, and and it's common for someone a home that maybe that first listing the first thing most of us hear when it's, it hasn't sold in the first month is lower the price yeah i suggest don't lower the price improve the quality of your listing yeah. and, and the marketing so for 125 dollars uh, can you get that listing sold right. at the original price, which doesn't reduce your commission, by the way. Great point. Hey, instead of lowering the price, if hey, if you're a seller out there and, and your realtor says lower the price, why don't you respond with, why don't you spend some money? Because that's what the problem is. They're not spending money on marketing. They're not spending money on photography. They're not getting out there and hustling. And in their defense a lot of times it is the, it is the uh the, you know the market you know buyers and sellers they're going to meet at some point price point is the number one indicator uh, and now when we come back here i want to talk about staged homes versus a non-staged home and some of the solutions that fabray frameworks has uh, in that space so stay with us right here on the consumer quarterback show our official hotel partner by the way is bill mar beach resort uh, over on treasure island filled with fantastic and generous amenities to make your vacation that much more special check out the bill mar beach resort over on treasure island let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by True Leave on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes.
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Got a hot property over on Clearwater Beach, 1370 Gulf Boulevard, unit number 401. Uh, this is the Bella. Rosa condo right on Sand Key. Uh, beautiful property, great area. You know, I've been over there door knocking a lot this last week, canvassing the neighborhood, talking about the Coronado listing I just got. But, you know, what a great area. You got great restaurants, bars, um, all types of shops to, to check out, beautiful beaches, lots to do as well. Just a great place to go hang out. 1370 Gulf Boulevard, 401 over at Bella Rosa condo. We got open houses going on this weekend as well. If you want to check out this million dollar property, it's $1.121 million. Great property opportunity over on the beaches. Compliments of Platinum MVP Realty Team at Keller Williams. Uh, another beautiful opportunity in Pinellas County is 9511 Antilles Drive, Seminole. Uh, this property is four bedrooms, three full bath. You also have a half bath, uh, three car garage. It's a beautiful property here. Five hundred and twenty thousand uh, prop dollars. Actually, we just reduced this property. I think it's around five fifty. Uh, but this is a great estate style home. David Weekly home, uh, nearly a half an acre, matured landscape lot. Beautiful property. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Somewhere, somewhere sunny and All right, so we got Gary Schofield in the house uh, for Brave Frameworks. He's going to come up here in a moment. I wanted to let you know about uh, our friends over at Replenish IV Solutions. Uh, Steve and Lisa Gunnan, they do a great job over there with uh, Replenish IV Solutions. Got Gasparilla coming up. Going to be a lot of drinking going on. You might want to save our hotline number in your phone. Uh, I'll get you in touch with Steve and Lisa Gunnan uh, for your vitamin infusions drips. Basically, it's an IV. It goes right into your bloodstream, and you're going to get vitamins directly into to your body they're not going to have to go through your digestive system when you eat those vitamins you swallow those pills they're not absorbing as much as these vitamin infused drips are going to you've got a fatigue fighter weight loss uh, ozone therapy all types of different anti-aging health and wellness different packages uh, consisting of all types of b vitamins c's d's you got the alpha they got the alpha lipolic acid um, all types of amino acids and extras as well replenish iv solutions longtime friends of the consumer quarterback show and uh, just give us a call or a text 813-670-7372 and we'll put you in touch with our friends over at replenish iv solutions and uh, we're back here in the studio so we got gary back in the house so gary longtime real estate expert uh real estate photography and uh you know when you look at properties you know I got a new listing about to come on board. Beautiful house, six hundred thousand value range. Kind of, uh, you know, in Clearwater, off of a kind of a busier road, nursery road, uh, but it's vacant. It's a beautiful pool, vacant home. You walk yeah. in, it's just four walls in each room, and you know the studies show, the statistics show that a staged home is going to sell faster than a non-staged home, faster for more money. So you guys have a solution that can help with that. Uh, a uh, financially sound solution. Uh, it is called virtual staging. Mm. Uh, you, there are uh, companies that, of course, will load up the furniture and, and physically place the furniture in there. Um, again, with our editors and the, the technology that the company has, they can actually virtually place that, that furniture in the home um, to bring that sense of how, how big the house is, yeah. uh, bring it to life really, instead of just four walls and a, and, and a floor, yeah. uh, people can get a perspective of how their furniture is going to fit. And it really comes alive that way. Yeah. Like it, you know, it's, it's a really unique way to utilize technology, save money, uh, in, you know, in the staging either way, you know, if you're a seller, I'd highly recommend it. You know, I pay for a consultation on all of my, uh, listings, uh, listing appointments. I will pay for that at consultation because that's how much I believe in it. You know, the staging side, there's also these unique things where they have home managers now have you heard of that get the home uh, manager i home believe tender, so they where they kind of live in there and show the property or yeah. something like that and, yeah. they, and they have to bring their own furniture so it's kind of a unique it's like if you think oh, about wow. business if you think about you know even like stephen mm -hmm. covey i've got his seven habits here i was going to talk about this a little bit here but you know one of them is uh think win-win you know in any business relationship think think win-win right so here's a win-win all three ways so you've got a home staging company you've got a seller that wants to sell uh, you got a tenant that wants to live somewhere 
And then, of course, even you could even say four. You got a realtor that wants to sell the house too, right? So the tenant is going to is going to occupy the home, the home tender, the home stager. Uh, they're going to occupy the home at a discounted rate. Right. So it's a win for the tenant because he's paying instead of three thousand to live in a three thousand square foot million dollar home, they're going to pay twelve hundred dollars. Okay. So mm -hmm. that money goes to the home stager the home company, the, the home staging company, uh, design company, right? They are going to just collect that money and, and, and kind of oversee the project. The home, the person that's living in the home, they're going to have furniture. That's one of the requirements. They have to have nice furniture. So they're mm -hmm. going to have nice furniture, stage the home, be ready to show the home on the drop of a dime. And they're going to maintain the lawn and the pool if there's a pool. So wow. now the owner's winning because he loses those two expenses. Plus, his home's not vacant, which which will help uh, stave off uh, possible break-ins, et cetera. Ex I, exactly what I was about to say. You know, to detour vandalism, how many vacant homes have we seen that yes. the neighborhood, uh, some neighborhoods, they know when a house is vacant and they take advantage of it. So yes, exactly. That prevents that, too, another advantage. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. You know, if you look at that, it's, that's a win-win all the way around. You know, there's there's a way to create value there. Uh, so it's a pretty unique way, uh, you know, in real estate. And that's something that, you know, we try to do with our sellers is we always want to help them understand more about, you know, their their situation, you know, give them identifications of uh, proper comparables too. This is a big one. You know, a lot of times people will, other real estate agents, again, there's 20,000 of them around here. What they'll do is they'll buy the listing. They'll, they'll technically the term is like buy the listing, right? Oh, I can yeah. sell it for 700. I'll sell it for 750. I'll get you 799 for this house. And the seller's like, oh, wow, they really, they, they say that with confidence. So they go in there and try to buy the listing in, in an essence. And then, you know, then they're going to start hitting them right away. Oh, we got to reduce. We got to reduce. And then that's what happens. So what we do, my team, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the comparables. We'll take a look at an absorption rate. We'll do a CMA, a six month CMA. We'll look at the absorption rate for the zip zip code, but then also just, we want to go mainly like a mile away. You know, right. we want to keep it around a mile um, that we were pulling re relevant comps, comparables that are going to be relevant to the property and size, similar architecture, design, et cetera. Yeah. So you, you know, that the, the, the odds are that that home for to make up a number, if, if that absorption rate gives you two and a half months, mm -hmm. um, you should expect as good as you are to sell it before that two and a half months, uh, thank right? You for that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's that's the idea because, you know, especially now, you know, we're in, a, we're in the middle of a market shift. I don't think people realize, but we are in the middle of a market shift. And that shift is happening more so in the... Uh, 500 to 700, you know, million dollar property. Those those are taking longer to sell. So what happens is, and I'm in the, I'm reading this book right here. If you're looking at our TV show, The Shift, by Gary Keller. So Keller Williams, uh, Realty, and the title says it's not about the market. It's about what you do, and how top real estate agents tackle tough times. Gary Keller, obviously a billionaire now, I guess, you know, founder of million of. Um, Keller Williams Realty uh, in, in the number one real estate company on the planet in terms of number of agents, number of closed sales and number of volume. Um, so that's the team that we joined. So a leader like Gary Keller. But anyways, there's a chapter in that book that talks about pricing ahead of the market strategies to price. So you have to price ahead of the market. So it's easy when, when we're in, a, in this type of a market, the when the values are improving, you know, it's easy for the sellers to price ahead of the market there. They're like, oh, yeah, let's push the envelope. Let's see how much we can get. Right. But on the flip side, they don't want to price ahead of the market when it's a when it's a flat market or because then when you do that, you're not chasing the market. Oh, uh, you, but you do want to slow it down. Right. You want to you want to price it as aggressively as you can. But at the same time, you, if you if you price it too high, you're missing buyers. You know, exactly. Ready, yep. willing and able buyers that you may have missed. And now now you're looking at six months, a year, two years before you're able to sell. Maybe not even at that same price point. I like what you said. You, you know, you, you give a realistic number and 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 looking at market conditions for a couple months and, and you have a little room to play there. But but it doesn't do any good. To me, the, the hottest time for, for a new listing is the first 10 days. You get the yeah. most activity. People that are serious about looking are going to find it right then. Absolutely. And if you play with the price and, and lower it down the road, 
uh, it's not really good for anybody. Yeah, we got a solution also for pre-marketing. I want to talk about that one on the other side of this break. Uh, when we come back, video shows Milwaukee bus driver rescue young child in our feel-good story. We want to make sure you follow us online, facebook.com. Uh, we got the Consumer Quarterback Show at Brandon Rhymes one on Twitter and Instagram, and we would love to follow you back as well. Let's connect, consumerqb.com. We'll be right back on the other side of this break. Gary Schofield in the house for Bray Frameworks. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rhymes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by Trulieve on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region's number one consumer advocate program, all about helping you win, helping you save a lot of time and money when it comes to your buying decisions, helping you avoid a lot of the commission-based advice that's so prevalent in our community. Uh, ConsumerQB.com, that's your number one resource, ConsumerQB.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you also on our hotline, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell. 813-670-7372. And we got Gary Schofield in the house for Brave Frameworks. We're talking about uh, real estate photography, real estate in general, the economy. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to our official moving partner, Brothers Easy Moving. Uh, Brothers Easy Moving. Say hello to Gary and his team over at Brothers Easy Moving. They do a great job here uh, in Tampa Bay and beyond. They do long distance moves as well as local. And they are among the highest reviewed Tampa movers. Uh, where Google, they hold a 4.6 rating. Uh, a rating on the 
the Better Business Bureau, A rating on Angie's List, 4.5 rating on Yelp, and they do a, just a superb job, and they are a great company. Say hello to Gary and his team over at Brothers Easy Moving. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, coming up, we have our feel-good story of the day video shows Milwaukee bus driver rescue young child. Uh, but right now, I want to let you know about a couple of hot listings here in Tampa Bay. 4613 South Matanzas Avenue. This is a beautiful property in South Tampa. And that 33611 Literally just a quick walk over to Bayshore Boulevard to enjoy all that South Tampa has to offer. Split floor plan offers privacy with all bedrooms and baths on the first floor. Uh, this is four bedrooms, three full baths. You got a half bath as well. $729,000. Beautiful property in South Tampa. Now, I'm gonna take you over to Pinellas County. 206 Mariner, two bedroom, two bath, ground floor. Furnished is an option. It is an option to be furnished. Uh, this is a great property over in uh, the area of Tarpon Springs. Got an open house going on this weekend as well. 206 Mariner, two bedroom, two bath, ground floor, furnished and Pool on site, just a great place to live, work, and play here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com, buying, selling, or investing, PlatinumMVPRealty.com. And we are recruiting real estate agents to our team. Uh, we're over at Keller Williams Realty now, so we've got, you know, Lots of training, education, support, lots of ways that we can help you grow your career and live a better life. So uh, we're back here in studio. We got Gary Schofield in the house. Gary, interesting, uh, something I was reading here. Uh, we got a weekly economic update here. It's talking about benchmarks rise on the eve of earnings season. So investors were encouraged by hints of progress in the U.S. trade, uh, U.S. China trade negotiations last week and seemed unruffled by the ongoing shutdown of parts of the federal government across five trading days, all three major Wall Street equities indices rose 2.4% or more, and both the S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average excited correction territory with the exited territory, correction territory with fourth quarter reporting season just ahead. So interesting, you know, it looks like we're, you know, like you said before, you know, we're, we're good. We're positioned well here in Tampa Bay. National numbers are one thing, but, uh, you know, here in Tampa Bay, we're doing well. Yeah, those were national numbers. Though. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, uh, um Add, add to it for us, I, I think. Yeah. Pretty so, easy. It's kind of like in school. Remember you had a curve sometimes? You know, you get that curve. No, I don't talk about curves. <laughs> you had that curve in school, you know, so they'd say, oh, well, I don't know how they came up with that idea to do a curve anyways, you know. Oh, we're going to curve these grades up. So if you really got a, you know, a 78, you're, we're going to curve that up to an 86. I don't, you know, I don't understand it, but uh, but I think in Tampa Bay, we're curving all those numbers. I, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. It's That's interesting. Good stuff here. Yeah, man, absolutely. So for Bray Frameworks, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about specifically about the business. You got Sean and Manny. I remember Sean years ago. We were we met over at iHeartRadio, and uh, he said, "Man, I got this idea. I, I really want to do it. I think there's a niche that needs to be filled. I want to come in." And you know, he told me about his business plan. I was like, "Wow, I could see that he's hungry." And now here we are, three, four years later, whatever it is, uh, you know, just one of the one of the top firms, uh, real estate photography companies, uh, due to a lot of of you know hard Hard work, effort, you know, teamwork as well. You know, I know Sean, Manny, they work well. Jeanette, uh, the whole team, man, you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, they are. You, you hit it. In the beginning, it was uh, Sean's drive uh, and Manny, you know, the devotion and the hard work. Many, many long hours, he's told me, mm -hmm. uh, to get it up and running. But he put all the pieces in place. Like you said, he had a plan. And, and look, what's, look what's happening. Uh, it's, it's going great. And he executed a plan. You know, I got that. We talked about Stephen Covey's, Covey's uh, seven habits here. Habit number one, be proactive. Uh, being proactive means taking responsibility for our attitudes and actions, as well as taking the initiative to make things happen. So I think that breaks down into, you know, are you a self-starter? You know, and a lot of people in business, you know, are you a self-starter? Um, do you and, and then developing that crystal clear vision of where you want to go? Uh, I think a lot of people think they are self-starters right but that drive that 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 focused on that finish line uh, uh and the planning to make everything happen um it's, it's almost like making your own dream come true that that's 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 big yeah i mean a lot of people have dreams yeah but they just don't put forth the effort and they they get distracted it's everyday life 
um, and, yep. and the dream is lost uh, for another one. So, but yeah. the follow through, um, he, he pulled it off. So yeah. they, they did. Yeah, for Bray Frameworks uh, does a great job. Real estate photography uh, packages starting at one hundred twenty-five dollars uh, to get real estate photography, and they include the drone shots for free. Yes, they do. Right, all, all of our packages include uh, free drone shots. So when you're uh, shopping for prices, uh, consider that it's a big, big uh, uh, a plus to have the drone. I mean, the the, the photos are amazing. Yeah. It, it's so cool to see bird's eye view of the community, the, yeah. the neighborhood. Uh, the waterfront and yes. golf courses, those things that help help you sell a property. Uh, but the photos are just, I, I, they're, they're just fun to, to look at. The uh, proximity to, to, you know, shopping or whatever it might be, right? Uh, well, in Florida, the, the water and golf courses, yeah. And, yeah. and shopping and churches, uh, the, those things that are important to the buyer. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's all, all there in the same picture frame. Yeah, it really is. Uh, if you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes. We're talking with Gary Schofield here uh, for Bray Frameworks. And Gary, before the show, we were talking a little bit about your family, man. You've got an interesting family mm -hmm. tree uh, coming from Ohio back, I think you said, on your mother's side. Um, the, the people that are in Tampa, they would know, especially if you're in that Carrollwood area, you would know of uh, Beers uh, Avenue, Pier, like Pierce, but Beers, right? They, right? A lot of people call it Bears, but it's not. It's So and tell us a little bit about some that. other names, but yes, uh, <laughs> we, we've all heard it. Uh, no, my mother's side of the family moved down. Uh, believe it or not, they were offering uh, 100 acres, I believe, in Florida to farmers around uh, the northern states. For every one acre that they had up there, they were offering 100. They were trying to get people to move to Florida uh, wow. 150 years ago. Now, who's uh, they? The government. The, the government, uh, the, local the, government, Florida uh, government, or federal? Federal. 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 Wow. Uh, probably both. Probably, probably both. a little bit of both sure. contribute, contributing. Uh, so they uh, uh, pretty much packed up and, and came down here, and uh, they lived in uh, Carrollwood uh, ever since. Wow. And, and still there. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's so, good stuff. Uh, Granddaddy uh, donated some of the, the the land through his one of his groves. Yep. Um, to to let Lake or uh, what was used to be Lake Magdalene Boulevard, um, renamed it Beers because he gave gave them the right of way, donated the land to the county to uh, get direct access to Del Mabry. So when that street went straight through, uh, they put his name on it. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, a lot of my friends growing up, I'm from South Florida, a small town called LaBelle, east of Fort Myers. I uh, grew mm -hmm. up in Port Charlotte, or born in Port Charlotte, grew up in LaBelle. But uh, yeah, a lot of my friends were tomato farmers, uh, orange groves, sod, you know, all that. And then, uh, you know, just you look at the, you know, the infrastructure that was developed by uh, a lot of those, those, those old timers, you know. Uh, a lot of farming, agriculture. People think of South Florida. They think of you know, agri they think of uh, Everglades, and you know, they think of Miami Dade, where you're you know, going out the nightlife and all that. Right, South Beach. Right. They don't really think of the country, you know, kind of like I grew up in. Well, you know, there's so many different areas of Florida. You get a little bit of everything, except for maybe mountains. But, yeah. Uh, but uh, you do have the forest. You do have the the swamps. Uh, yeah. You do have the farmlands. You do have. Uh, uh, the nice green pastures of Ocala. I mean, yeah, Florida has it has everything. It really does. You know, it's, it's interesting. One of those news stations does like Florida on a tank full. You ever right. see those? You oh, go yeah. to, oh, yeah. you know, Wiki Wachi all the way to the Ocala Forest. You got, you know, right here in Tampa Bay, we got 40 miles of beautiful Gulf beaches. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think, you know, the West Coast is the best coast here in Florida because on the East Coast, you got so much hustle and bustle. Prices are way out of line, uh, you know, less affordable. And it's just a different world over there on the East Coast. Uh, East Coast, uh, Panhandle, yeah, they're all different. Uh, yeah. I try to. I, I I prefer to stay away from the big uh, tourist traps. Yes. Um, um, you know, this is home, uh, and you can find a home here in Tampa Bay yeah. without without um, you know the, the the rush hour traffic that Atlanta or some one of these big cities has. It, it just has a small town feel to it. Yeah, you know, it sure even does. with all the big stuff going on. It's, it's still a city, you know, yeah. a small town city. It really does. So you can find a great buy in the real estate space. If you're an investor, we'd love to work with investors. I've got a great buyer agent team over at Platinum MVP Realty as well. You know, my wife, Lindsay, she's licensed, uh, licensed realtor. Uh, we've got Aaron on the team, Aaron Foley, Vanessa, um, Tara, uh, just uh, Mary Bell, just a great team of agents that can help you find your next property, find your next home. Uh, if you'd love, uh, we'd love to, you know, work with you and, and help you. We offer a $500 uh, rebate back to uh, the mortgage 
side if you work with one of our mortgage uh, partners of the show as well, uh, helping you reduce your cost as well. So right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Stay with us when we come back. More from Gary Schofield for Bray Frameworks. And we got our feel-good story coming at you. Bus driver saving a rescues a young child. Find out about this and more from our expert contributors when we come back. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. This is Warwick Dunn, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by Leaf on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. Listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 670 7372. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. We really appreciate you staying with us right here. 1380 The Biz. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And uh, we appreciate you taking your time listening to us. And, and uh, maybe you're watching our TV show. Uh, we'd love to engage with you online, social media, at Brandon Rhymes One on social media. Check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry. Former USF football player, playing the inaugural football team. And we got our uh, book online at Amazon. Uh, this is kind of the prequel to our business we launched with Ken Shamrock, the Business Grow Celebrity Academy. Uh, we're helping uh, entrepreneurs grow their business, grow their sphere of influence through leveraging, harnessing the power of the media. Uh, with that business. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we'd love to, uh, you know, help you as well on your business endeavors. We just want to connect, you know, we're all about connecting and helping people. You know, I probably have uh, people in my database that I can connect you with that are going to help you. Uh, so we want to engage with you. 813-670-7372. Give us a call. 813-670-7372. And we would love to connect with you. A couple of hot listings here. 4212 Thistle Terrace Place, Val Rico, River Hills Country Club, gated community, four bedrooms, two baths. You got a half bath as well. Solar all over the roof. The roof is filled with solar. Mm -hmm. Check out those beautiful drone shots, compliments of Fabray Frameworks, uh, showing the solar panels and also 
You've got the solar heated pool. Uh, beautiful property. Owner's motivated on this thing. Uh, he wants to sell it. We're listed at four hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. And uh, he's he's motivated. He wants to sell this property. Gated community, corner lot, large lot as well. Uh, great opportunity in beautiful Tampa Bay, uh, Hillsborough County. And I've got another Pinellas property here, 109 18th Avenue South, St. Petersburg. Uh, this property has eight bedrooms, four bath, just uh, partially renovated as well. Five bedrooms, three bath, and a detached in-law apartment, which includes three bedrooms and one bath. Uh, three car garage. The property is a unique uh, courtyard area in the middle and the backyard as well. $520,000 just reduced, and it's a hot property listing at PlatinumMVPRealty.com. All right, so every day we're going to tell you something positive right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to tell you something good. Tell me something good. So this video shows the school bus driver that rescued a young child. Very interesting and alert uh, Milwaukee bus driver rescued a young child found wandering barefoot on a freeway overpass in the freezing cold. And it was all caught on video. Uh, Arena Ivick spotted the little boy and immediately stopped her bus, ran across the street and brought the crying child onto the bus. I'm just grateful I was in the right place at the right time, Ivick said. And a ceremony held in her honor on Thursday. Uh, the 19 month old has been cold cold and frightened uh, but was otherwise okay police said police said the child had been left on the side outside by his mother who may have been suffering from a mental health crisis authorities eventually reunited the baby with his father so uh, interesting story and uh, could have been a sad one gary but uh, man you know an, an alert bus driver found her yeah that's the first time i'd seen that i think i'd heard about it but just watching it uh another wild story um I hope we hear a lot more of those in 2019. That's yeah. super. Yeah, we've got some good stories that we've done in our Feel Good segment uh, here where we're talking about, you know, all types of people. You know, those GoFundMe accounts come in handy. People raise money for people. And uh, there was actually a scam last year, too, with the GoFundMe. Remember that one? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's always one nutcase in there. But, uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, the bottom line is GoFundMe, it's, it's done a lot of a lot of good. Great idea. Yeah, it is. Really good yeah. idea. You know, the, the power of the Internet. You know, this is a, the best time to be alive as a human being, man. You, you know, if you, think about it. You know, our grandparents, they, they work nine to five nine to eight whatever it was they came home and then right. they slept and, and and got up early the next morning daylight to dawn really uh you know dust to dawn and then now you come home you know you could start a second business from your home utilizing the internet youtube um shopify all these different sites you know so there's really no excuse uh i've heard it said i think it's um gates that said you know if you're born poor that's your fault if you stay poor um you know that's you know, your parents fault if you stay poor that's your fault there you go yeah. you know so it's uh you know it's one of those things where we you know we live in the best country people are literally dying to get here you know we see that with the crisis on the the south border right now uh you know and the, the whole government shutdown with the issues of the border wall uh, and and all of that kind of thing happening um uh, not a political show here. We're not taking sides on that kind of stuff, but you know, we want to help you live as a live a better life as a consumer advocate. We got Gary Schofield for Brave Frameworks. Uh, one thing I think we may have failed to talk about so far uh, was the virtual tours, the ability to do virtual tours, and some of those Matterport type uh, tours that you have on the inside. Virtual tours. Yeah, the virtual tours are are I guess likened to the the Google Maps, where you can click down the street. And you can turn 90 degrees left or right and, and, and see, pull up in front of a house, turn. Same thing uh, concept with this. Uh, the camera is staged throughout the house many times. You click, you can move yourself through the house, turn to the left, turn to the right, see what the balcony or whatever the features of the home are. Yeah. Just like you're walking through it. So, uh, uh, again, another te technological great thing to give you a sense without having to drive to the house to see it yeah it really is it's so cool to be able to do that and i think that technology is going to be expanded on in the future you know I'm you sure. think about some of the, the the emerging trends too you you want to try to be on the the front side of these trends but some of them you know like virtual reality for example you know a couple of years ago virtual reality you know you heard it everywhere it's going to be so big I haven't really seen that many applications to it have you uh other than uh recreational wise i right. haven't but uh i i saw something i think a week ago where it is something non-recreational but i i think it's going to be a lot we're going to hear a lot more about it i yeah. think they're working on it yeah yeah exactly there, there's things to come uh with that and you know but it, but it's 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 kind of a challenge as an entrepreneur you you want to try to put your your uh money where dollars are working 
you know, keep right. the dollars and the resources going in the right direction. But then at the same time, you always got to be kind of like we talked about that land grab. You know, we talked about the land grab when you mentioned the hundred acre trade for the north northern farmlands for down here. Uh, you know, that that modern day uh, land grab is so valuable. Look at a company like Amazon, you know, right. trillion dollar company built on the back of Google pay per click. You know, Jeff Bezos, they were Google pay per clicking, doubling down on that dollar back then you know in the early right gosh what would that have been to early 2000s when they were doing google pay-per-click maybe 96 98 know. you know in that range so that's how they built amazon you know there's companies that are built on that type of a uh platform so if you can be early adapter you're going to be in a good position exactly and, and uh with the, everything that's going on now there's somebody out there right now thinking of what the next progression is going to be the next great idea yeah and, and you were talking about virtual reality i bet you somebody's going to come up with the next game changer for for that as well somebody's going yeah. wow why didn't i think of that yeah and there you go and it's like once they thought of it you're like man why didn't i uber you know how how easy was that really you know you, you put an app together pick somebody up they don't have to wait they're not waiting for these smelly cab yeah. drivers anymore <laughs> you don't have to buy a fleet of cars yeah uh, a lot exactly of yeah yeah Amazing. you don't you don't even own the the uh the assets you so, know so what's your great idea what's... i got a couple i got a couple good ones but uh you know there's it's interesting when you think about you know my great idea is the business grow celebrity academy teaching people entrepreneurs how to grow uh, a celebrity uh, the, their own celebrity and start their own show so that's the process we're working with with Ken Shamrock and Des Woodruff. You know, yep. basically modeling what we've done here in Tampa Bay. Uh, you know, I've got you know, a, a lot of room to grow here, but I'm just saying, you know, in, in Tampa Bay, I am somewhat of a micro celebrity. People know me, especially in the real estate mortgage title space. You know, people know me. So I can teach people how to grow their celebrity in other markets by utilizing, you know, basically the same thing with this book. You know, right. I started with the book. Now we've grown it into a video series teaching people how to start so that's that's kind of one of mine gary but okay but yeah it, it's not as not as sexy as an uber though right <laughs> no and uh it was it was fun putting you on a spot for a change so thank yeah you. i like that yeah, yeah that thanks. was fun yeah, yeah that's good stuff i won't do it again yeah uh, no please no. do i love it it's fun dialogue uh I, I like it so yeah we have a lot of fun here on the on the quarterback show we want you reaching out to fabre frameworks what the website by the way what's the website it's, it's fabre uh f-e-b-r-e frameworks.com uh, for brayframeworks.com all your real estate needs of course consumerqb.com as well uh, you can see um, all of our expert contributors there at consumerqb.com uh, we've got a couple minutes left gary anything uh, you want to add anything we overlooked uh we we covered a lot uh, i will say it's it's a new year 2019 I, i'm feeling really good about it uh the market's strong uh indi indications are it's not going anywhere uh real soon so uh i would say the same old thing we hear every year if, if you're doing things the same way, you can expect the same results. If yes. you want to go along in 2019 and make it a better year for yourself, um, change something. Yes. Try something new, whether it be in your personal life, uh, more time with your kids or a different approach. Um, take on a new charity, uh, do something there, job related, any yes. of that. But, but change something and see if it doesn't improve your life. You might be surprised. And if that doesn't work, what do you do? You change uh, it again. Uh, well, I was going to say, right? call, call me. <laughs> call Gary. Yeah, if that doesn't work, change your approach. Change your approach. You know, just keep changing your approach so you find one that works. You know, and, and I would say also give it, you know, give it time. You know, a lot of people, you know, advertisers as well, you know, they, oh, I tried something for two months. It didn't work. You know, you got to let it sit in there for at least six months, especially with this, you know, today's world when you're fine tuning things. Uh, you you got to give it a good six months at least to see if it's going to work and how it's going to work and, and be an early adapter. And uh, you don't have to spend money. That's the thing, too. People, you know, sometimes just right. think, oh, I got to spend money over here with this company, that company. You don't really have to. You can literally door knock. I mean, I, I mentioned earlier in the show, I was on the beaches door knocking, meeting business owners, telling them about that three and a half million dollar listing I got. I met a lot of people, gave out a lot of business cards, made some good connections. But uh, we're running out of time. But thanks so much, Gary. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you uh, very Gary much. Schofield, Fabre Framework. Shout out to Manny Fabre, Sean Fabre, Jeanette, the whole team. They do a wonderful job over there. Uh, the official real estate photographer of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Fabre Frameworks. And we uh, thank Thank you for listening. Thanks to all of our team, our producers, of course. And we
we want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food or clothing, hand it to that person that you see in need. Be a force for good in the community. Do something kind for one another and continue to tune into our show right here at 5 o'clock drive time. We've got the weekend show on FM 1025 The Bone, uh, Sunday mornings and TV show on WeBeam TV. And we are out. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at consumerqb.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that wanna join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for by the company. Aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you. This is the Cannabis Podcast, powered by TrueLeaf on Radio Influence. It's an inside look and the scientific facts in and around the world of medical cannabis. Now, here is your host, Ian Beckles. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback.